Welcome back to another vlog guys. So today's vlog is very spread apart because I was gonna plan on posting a video of a car meet that I went to, but it was really, really, really whack. Um, it was like a Sunday one at Friendship Park. Um, my truck was down at the moment, so um, just enjoy these clips of doing some work on two trucks. And yeah, guys, let's get right into it. What's going on guys, it's a separate day. That parking chill we went to, that car meet was whack as heck. So uh, it's gonna be just the second portion of the video. We got Brian here. He just got his step notch done on his truck. And he got it done by Ghost Customs. They got down, check out these welds. One thing he needs is new shocks, but what we are gonna do, we are gonna go ahead and cut that gas tank cross member. As you guys can see, when he when he goes in gear, his truck will squat and his drive shaft will rub right there. So the thing is with these uh with these single cabs, you can go a lot lower without having without having to cut the cross members compared to crew cabs. And since we're gonna lower it some more, we're gonna be using leaf spring clamps uh, just so to also get rid of some uh, wheel hobs. So we're gonna use leaf spring clamps to clamp down that bottom leaf spring, and it'll lower him a little bit. So just to take uh, safety precautions. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and cut that cross member down there. One, two. All right, guys. So I kind of messed up. I was tripping. You know, I just woke up. I'm playing, guys. But it's only supposed to be one. I don't know. I was tripping. But it's only one of these. There's no bottom one. So just go ahead and thread it down. Just by hand first. You want to get it by hand, so that way, like a little snug, that way it doesn't move. There you go. All right, you guys, so we just got them installed. Here you are. It's basically how it's going to look on all four. It's going to, you're going to, I think, sorry, let me get this to focus real quick. So you can get it with just one on each side, but I mean, if you want like the maximum, you get two on each side. So two, so you'll need four. So two complete kits. Um, right now we're gonna do, he got the truck lifted up a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and cut that cross member there. Um, yeah, let's get let's get into it guys. All right, you guys, we just got it cut up. Um, gonna spray paint it just so, uh, make sure it doesn't rust. As you guys can see here, it's nice and cut. The clearance for the drive shaft from here to, to there. Now he can carry all the tortas in the bed. Ain't nobody gonna look. Uh, ain't nobody gonna worry about having his drive shaft break. All right, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and trim this piece of the tub down. All Brian does is burn out, bro. That's why his tires don't last. But we're gonna do some cuts right here, right there, and right here. We're just gonna bend it up because. He's not gonna do the tubs just yet, so I'm just gonna do some slits and bend the bitch up just so his tire is not. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Boy, this shit bleeds. Look, let me show you guys how we did it. So we cut the slits and then we just folded them up just so this is flat, straight up against the wheel well. And uh, hopefully that gives us some enough clearance just for the meantime. Um, Got Brian over here putting on his wheels. Oh my god, bro. Puro ay niveles kit. Puro ay niveles kit. We got the boat over here. Broken down. Fuck. Also, I lifted it up to four inches in the front. Uh, I'll have a video on this one soon. Uh, just gotta figure out what's wrong with it. All right, guys, just finished up the job. That boy, he almost took in, took in tire a little bit. He's gonna buy some 24, so it's gonna be swell as fuck. Um, it did fix the Chevy lid a little bit. Now, the only thing that he has left to do on this is replace the shocks um, and then get a different flip kit because when you get uh like ebay flip kits or your flip kit is just damaged or just over time it'll wear out um your diff will start to shift let me see if i can show you guys right here 
there's like two fingers of space like two two and a half or something you know uh like it has two fingers of space between the tire and the actual fender let me go over here to this side It's basically sitting right on the fender. Like you can't even fit a finger in here. And uh, maybe you guys are having this issue too. Is um, just make sure to check your flip kit. Uh, make sure you know your flip kit's not cracked or anything. Get some. Get a good brand flip kit. And yeah, guys, this truck is finished up. My boy Brian, PB and J. It's a pretty cool truck. You don't really see like a like JDM style trucks. Some replica TEs. Yeah. As you guys can see, he's spraying. Oh snap, oh snap. That boy's fast. And of course he's in my truck crew. My Nivella Street Trucks, it's sick as fuck. It's like chrome. I got the reflector one, I might switch to chrome. Yeah. <laughs> ah. But, yeah, the guy gets down, he just lives in like, Shout out to Pinky. Yeah, Pinky Vinyls. He just lives in like Tempe. Or where does he live? Mesa? Yeah, Mesa. Mesa, yeah. It's like right off a of, where I forgot I forgot the street, but it's like a 30 minute drive from my house, like almost mm -hmm. 40. Up, up front. Yeah, he gonna get the I Niveles down in the front. Yeah, you know, put Niveles. Damn, damn, what does that say? Yeah, that's for a different video, guys. Um I'll be on this one soon. This is finished, guys. Not daily. Got my brother's Mustang. It's definitely a super clean look. Puro I need that. All right, you guys, so Brian came back. Um, this is still Brian's truck. He painted his wheels white, put um, purple stick right there. Like I told you guys, it's a <laughs> fake TEs. No, I'm not gonna say it. It says O-M-W-T-F-Y-B. He got new shocks, and we're also gonna install the shocks today. Yup, 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 damn, yup. JDM style clear taillights, the JDM truck. Let's go ahead and put these on, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> Brian being the metiche, he put the wrong size, uh, whatever this is, inside the actual uh, shock. We had him over here taking it out. Doing a little bit of tips and tricks. God damn, boy. <laughs> Chill out. Whoa. Well, supposed to be a 10-minute job. 10-minute job turned into, he, we gotta take the other one out. All good, though. I don't have the, mach the press machine, so we're just gonna have to force it in there. Um, it's pretty easy once once you got a step notch and you don't got a notch cover because you can just do it through the top, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, new shocks in. Bottom. So uh, for all you guys that uh, are looking for shorter shocks, I know that you can run the Beltec, the street performance ones, but I've heard the Nitro or the black versions are better than them. I'm not too sure on my gray truck. I'm running the Beltec, uh, the great street performing trucks. They're all right. He's running the rough country one, the short rough country ones. We got the Vomato culture right now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how much uh, the ride has improved. All right, and we're gonna take a spare just in case this boy running on like no trade tire. All right, guys, we got we got the boy Jaden in. We're gonna do a shackle in on the truck because finally, finally after months, that man stopped slacking and he got a step notch, and now guys. I'm selling the truck. No, no, you're not selling the truck. Okay, so um, we're gonna do a shackle in on his truck. Um, he already has the flip kit. He has um, leaf spring clamps on, and then um, also one thing for you guys looking to do um, twin shackles on the NNBS and gear styles. Just know that to get to the top, both for the shackles. Hey, what's the thing if you take off? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't to, even worry about that. To get to the top, both for the shackles, you have to take off the tow hitch. 
um either that or if let's say you're getting the um the notch done while the bed's off just go ahead and install the shackles because it's easier that way um with the bed on you won't be able to get to the top bolt with without it off i'll show you guys right now in a bit but here it is all right you guys to take off the tow hitch um there's gonna be three bolts or one two and then three right here god damn and then we got one bolt here one bolt on this side it's gonna be the same over there and then like i was telling you guys what we're gonna have to do is to take this top bolt off because i don't know if you guys can see you won't be able to get it off so what we're gonna have to do it can you uh please stop huh so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna take the tow hitch off um we're gonna take this thing off wait wait a minute wait okay so you have to take the tow hitch off so you can get this bolt out and then for this top bolt what we're gonna do is that um once this when we take this this one off we're gonna jack up the diff in order to get the leaf spring all the way up over the frame and then we're gonna take the frame off of this little pocket you guys can see my finger and that's how we're gonna do the whole bolt situation and we should be good all right you guys we took a quick break luis pulled up when to go pick up the truck when to go pick up the truck from the shop i explained to you guys what happened to the truck while i was getting a fat coolant leak um and it'll definitely help out you gen 1 f-150 guys because i believe that the 2015 to 20 2015 to present f-150s don't have uh the issue of the gen 1 so or honestly it's only the gt manifold and the gt 351 the boss manifold or the holly manifold you shouldn't have a problem with this since they're since they rise up all right guys so what we have to do is so you're gonna take this nut off and the bolt oh you're, you're just gonna take the nut off first and then take the nut off on the top one and then after you take the nut off on the top one take the whole bolt off and then what you're gonna have to do is there's these pieces of the bed right here you're gonna have to get a plier and then just fold it up and hammer it up or you can get a grinder grind right here and then hammer it up just to make it flat so that the shackle has space uh to the bed also because the the lowering shackles are they are longer and you're gonna need this extra space hey yo chill out yeah guys so we finally did the shackles we put it as low as it can we had to cut out the top um we, there wasn't enough space to hammer that bit so we just cut it off uh both sides put on the top bolt we'll see if this dude rubs we switched out his shocks as well so he came in for the twin shackles and the shock install um now it's time to put on the wheels and let's see how low this shit sits he does got the leaf spring clamps so with these leaf spring clamps again like i had mentioned in the last video it is gonna lower you a tiny bit and it's gonna um reduce the amount of play there are in between the leaf springs um, some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. I mean, take your poison. Um, you can't be that low with traction bar, so you're gonna have to resort to something like this. Or get a three link and four link with coilovers. Um, some people don't got the money for it, so this might be your answer to whatever you're wanting to do. Also, make sure, um, make sure that if you're gonna be going low, you might have to cut up this cross member. We're, we're gonna see right now, but I doubt we're gonna have to cut it off because uh brandon he was at like a 13 inch drop and that's when he had to cut it off and Jaden's get barely gonna be at a 10 or 11 so we'll see all right guys all right guys this is the final stance for Jaden's truck after putting the shackles on sat down a good a good bit still gonna settle like a little bit in the rear what the heck? hey put that back so he's gonna sit down uh a little bit for those NNBS guys, this is a 410 drop. This looks pretty good. What the? 410 drop looks good on this NNBS. It's a 48. Little Denali clone. All he's missing right now is the wheels. Um, he'll get them sooner or later, but. We got my truck back, we got Lisa's truck, and our recruit Vince. Sheesh. All right, you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, that's just a little bit of tips and tricks of just how I did it, um, how I dropped those trucks, did the shock replacement on Brian and, 
and dating instructs um if you guys have any questions or any uh comments about anything by any means go ahead and comment uh because i'm not a professional you know um I only have like maybe a year to two years of experience of working on trucks and cars. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to leave any tips or any general comments, let me know, put them down in the comments. And if you like today's video, guys, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe guys and watch out for the next vlog, which is going to be all about the boat and just another update on the boat. So yeah, guys, chop it here and I'm out. Bye.